breaking the silence. Yes, that is what her campus had USG and many other organizations did. Break the silence on the, on the terrible thing that's going on across the country, sexual harassment. And as you can see, with all the free food and all the food and all the concert going on behind me, it was certainly a uh, night filled for fun and events. It may have seemed like a party, but the underlying theme of the night was serious. Sexual assault on college campuses. So, um, as you know, like, it, it's a really big problem on every college campus, and it's, it's really important for us to come together as a school because it's a problem that affects all of us, not just some. So we all have to come together and understand that like, if we work together, we could stop this problem that's plaguing like, most of the country, not just our school. A coalition of groups, listed below, teamed up with the local Title IX and Compliance Group in Pittsburgh in a Break the Silence Against Sexual Violence Awareness concert. Throughout the night, students had cotton candy, ice cream, popcorn from Pittsburgh Popcorn, and food catered by 100 Wood. There was also a concert with performances from the bands Denora, Nevada Calore, and from Pioneer Records winner Hannah Jenkins. One of the things taught in a variety of pamphlets given at the event against sexual violence was learning how to defend yourself using various self-defense moves. If you would like more information on sexual violence, as well as ways to prevent it, visit PAR's website at paar.net, as well as visiting the various counseling centers on and around Point Park's campus. Reporting for Point News, I'm Nicholas Priscilla.